smiling here. I'll throw play. Look, we we'll let your head on, Kurt. Sorry. I'll go up the stair, do a couple of interviews just. This is Cooper Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global in Belfast for Carl Frampton's press conference, Carl Frampton Reborn. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yes. Uh, it's, <laughs> no, it's not on there. <laughs> yeah, it it's is Carl Frampton Reborn. It's not there. I like it. Um, well, I spoke to you about a week ago. Yeah. And um, You were digging. I was digging. Yeah. So I'm going to... Let it cool. You played it cool. Yeah. You hinted like when I asked you about the American thing, you kind of gave me a little diversion that yeah. way as well. Dumb so, question is, uh, why did you pick Frank uh, Frank Warren over Eddie Home? It was the the best deal, really. Um, the offer from Eddie was 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 very good as well. Um, but I think that this just made more sense, and I I sat down with my team, uh, MTK, and we discussed it. Um, I discussed it with my family as well, and uh, you know, to answer the question, it was it was the better deal, and, and that's why. Hmm. So the decision not to go video and had nothing to do with your no, history. No, no, no. Look, like it's it's, yeah. it's not like that. It wasn't me being bitter towards um, things that I've said in the past. I, I was thinking with a, a level mind um, and trying to start. I'm a boxer, but trying to think with a business head and. Uh, uh, no hard feelings between me and Eddie anymore. We sat down and had a chat, um, and it was a good chat. But I think when push came to shove, the best deal was with, with, with Frank. Mm. And we sp asked you about this over there about were there offers from America? W w was that a, a serious thing that could have come into play with, uh, in regards yeah, of to your course. future? I yeah, was, I'd been talked. You know, there was people all over the world approaching me, and um, I'd been. Uh, approached by some American promoters too, but um, I think that it came down to the two big dogs in, in uh, British boxing, Eddie and Frank, and uh, and the old man won. <laughs> but for you, this is a very important phase for you in your career now, because, and you had to make sure that everything, you know, from not just your promoter, but your trainer, and just everything yeah. moving forward for you was exactly right. You've got no room for mistake now. No, not at all. I need to win from here on in the rest of my career, and uh, I needed to get the right team behind me. I feel like I'm being uh, advised correctly by MTK. Um, I feel like Frank, and especially with this relationship with BT, it's going to be it's a huge platform for me to showcase my skills on. Um, already making a statement, even just to have a press conference in an iconic venue like the Ulster Hall, I think it's a statement in itself. Um, I'm fighting pretty soon, 18th of November. They've guaranteed a Windsor Park fight for me, so um, as long as I keep winning, um, the future's looking good. 18th of November, like you said, uh, here in Belfast, and the card also features Jamie Conlon's uh, first world title. Mm -hmm. Uh, shot uh, alongside Paddy Barnes. You're you're very close friends, and this is the first time the three of you are actually going to box on a yeah. professional card. Yeah, it is. We've boxed on, on many amateur cards together. We we boxed on international teams together uh, for Ireland. So um, we're we're good friends, um, and it's great to be involved in it. Jimmy Conlon is, in my opinion, has to be the most exciting fighter in uh, in the UK and Ireland. He's fights where he's expected to win pretty easily. He always somehow seems to make it a war for himself and there's claret everywhere and uh, sometimes he gets up off, off the floor and it, but he always gets up to win and uh, I'm expecting more of the same here. Jimmy's very, very exciting. Um, he doesn't get the exposure and the credit he deserves but I think with the help of BT here um, he'll get that and Paddy as well. Everyone knows Paddy, he's a character. Um, he says what he wants, um, he does what he wants and uh, you know, this Are you a, fighting on Paddy's undercard? No, I'm not fighting on Paddy's undercard. Cut yourself on. How can you fight <laughs> on someone's undercard? I, I, we fought four times, and I beat him three. So, But he's fighting for the WBO European Championship of the yeah, World. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a big title, prestigious, but um, I haven't got a title. Paddy's, Paddy's more titles than me. Yeah, and, and, but I, it's of the world. It's the European title of the world. European yeah. title of the world, yeah. Um, he's made a new name up for it, but... Uh, Paddy's a character, uh, good lad, and it's great to see him getting on these sort of builds and the exposure and that he'll be getting from it and hopefully he can pick up more of a fan base because he's a good, he's good crack, Paddy. Mm. Um, I know he upsets people with some of the things he says, but a lot of it's tongue-in-cheek and if people can take a joke, uh, it'll get on very well with Paddy. 
opponent-wise, um, w- I'm assuming it will be someone who's you know ranked. That's what you're looking yeah. for uh, for the November 18th card. And you've already said that you know it'll be next year where you will look to reclaim a world title. Yeah, that's that's the plan. You know, I, I just want to put the past year behind me. A disastrous year in terms of my professional career. Um, I need to put that behind me, get back to winning ways, put in an explosive performance, look good doing it, um, and then we'll go for, for one of the big names after it. And I want to be a world champion again. I still believe that I can be a world champion. I believe that on my day, if I'm performing to the best of my ability, I can beat any featherweight in the world, including Leo Santa Cruz. Um, that's the one you really want. That's the it? one I want. It, it makes sense. I think the, the boxing, the worldwide boxing public would like to see it again. It's one each. A trilogy makes sense. Everyone loves a trilogy. Two brilliant fights before, two close fights before. Um, the third one, the third one makes sense. Talk to me about Oscar Valdez. Great fighter. Yeah. Very good fighter. Exciting. Um, he he commits with everything. He punches extremely hard, but he looks like he's he can be hit. And uh, I think my style and his style, um, it's only going to be fireworks. So that's a them fights excite me, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you spoke to Frank Warren about that? No, I haven't, I haven't really. But right. um, obviously Frank has a good connection with the WBO um, and, and Bob Arum as well. Um, Oscar Valdez is a WBO champion, so it makes sense. Who knows? Who knows? I just want, after this one, I want to fight big names. And Oscar Valdez is certainly a big name. From all the changes you've made over the last few weeks and, and, and whatever... Are all the boxes ticked now for you? Is everything done? Everything's done. Yeah. I, I've got my team behind me. I've got MTK advising me. Um, I've got uh, Jimmy Moore um, training me and also advising me. You know, he's a knowledgeable guy. He, he helps me out and gives me advice when he can. I've got Warren, one of the biggest promoters still in world boxing. Um, and I've got BT Sport behind me, who are a huge platform. And you, you see what they're doing in the football. They've kind of just dipped their toes into the boxing. Um, but I think I think it'll take it to a new level pretty soon. But you worked with Frank before. You had a stint on Box Nation, and, and some of your fights have been shown on Box Nation yeah. as as well. So um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I like a boy. I'm looking forward to the, you know what the future brings, and I like a guy with a good relationship with Big Bonsi and uh, yourselves and Barry Jones as well, and Alex too. So um, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to the future. All right. Have you got anything else you'd like to add, Carl? No. Okay. Well, you always say, I don't know what to say. Like, I want to make something. No, but there might be something on your mind that I haven't asked you, and then you might think, oh, well, I could have said that. No, no. Or I wanted to say that. Or I wanted to have a go at him, or have a go at her. No, I'm the same. Her? I don't know why I said her. her. You want to have a rant at your wife or something? (laughs) Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't do that. All right. You wouldn't dare. No. Uh, Carl Frampton, thank you very much for talking to iFall TV. And uh, listen, we'll definitely catch up with you ahead of uh, November 18th. Best of luck in camp. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate.